Hello everyone, my name is Jared, and welcome to the Anime Ashtray. I finally finished reading Planetess, so I gave myself about 24 hours or so to let the story really sink in before I say any said anything about it. So this will be my final thoughts on the manga. If you would like to see my first impressions, I will post a link to that video down below. So, with, it, with this manga only being four volumes, they crammed so much character development into those four volumes. Every single chapter, every single page was just chock full of character development. I absolutely love character development, and Slice of Life is a perfect medium for character development, because that's really all it is, is character development. Because really, when you think about it, that's a big part of life, is you go through the days growing as a person. The fact that it was in space, like I said in my first impressions video, was it was different, but good. I don't think this type of story would have worked in any other genre but Slice of Life. And the fact that it's a space slice of life, even better. Uh, chapters, I'm not going to say anything too particular in this because I don't want to spoil it because it's so short that it's really easy to spoil but definitely for me uh, I kind of felt that Hachimaki which is the main character his mental and emotional journey throughout the entire manga was a little bit hard to follow at times I kind of never uh, all the way up until the end, pretty much. I never really understood where he was coming from. Like, I'm like, why is he acting like this? Why does he think this way? And it was kind of confusing and a little bit hard to read because I was just like, what the hell? Suddenly this guy's acting all really weird and it was really hard for me to know, figure out and know where he's coming from. But that made the whole, this whole realization at the end that much more rewarding. So... When you get to that, be sure to power through it. You know, pay attention, of course. Don't just skip it. It's very important. But it, I think it was kind of almost supposed to be confusing. But when you get to that point, it's about halfway through Volume 2 or so. Uh, just stick with it. It's kind of hard because, you know, you, you get lost, kind of confused on how, why is he suddenly acting like this. But it's completely worth it. I think that my favorite character had to be Fee. She's the chain-smoking tomboy that throughout the most most of the first and second volumes, she just wants to find a place to smoke. Places to smoke are becoming more and more rare in space. So it's funny. I can relate because I'm a smoker, and that's kind of like real life where it is finding harder and harder for places to smoke. Her backstory... Absolutely heartbreaking. I loved it. Uh, it made me really feel the feels, you know. It was great. I was kind of worried at first that she was going to be kind of left out because her backstory, they don't really get into her backstory until the th like halfway through the third volume or so. But I, I feel that Yuri, who's another one of the main characters, his, his backstory... To me, it wasn't really fleshed out, because he didn't have much of one. They kind of go into what happened to him at the, the very beginning of the manga, like the first two pages. So they get his stuff out of the way quick, and he builds as a character in the first volume. So he's basically, all his character development is done and over with by the time you're done with the first volume, which is pretty cool. All in all, it wasn't perfect, but it was very good. This isn't a review, so I'm not going to give you a score. If you're interested in the score, I will have my anime list profile linked below as well. You can go there and you can check out my score. But I'm not going to give it to you in this because this wasn't a review. It was a very real, like this, every time I was reading, like, it was almost as if we're living in, like, the year 2080 and I'm reading a history book about what happened in the 2070s. 
It was such a real, and I said that word, I use this word a lot in my first impressions, and I'm so sorry, but it's the best way that I can describe it. It is real. Like, this is what I imagine space travel and space exploration is going to be like in the 2070s. It's fantastic. I know that anytime I look up at the sky at night now, I'm going to think about this manga. It's going to be incredible. I definitely will probably, definitely probably, revisit revisit it in the future. It is one of those mangas that you can give to a friend to get them into the medium. It's not the stereotypical manga, you know, that most people think about. Giant boobs, short skirts, that kind of stuff is very real. It's pretty, very adult. Not, you know, sexual, sexually wise, but adult, adult concepts. But all in all, excellent manga. If you are into the slice of life and sci-fi in general, and you want a hard, real sci-fi story with incredible character development, do yourself a favor and check out Planetess. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. As always, if you want to keep up with what I'm reading, my anime list profile is down below. That's where you can check out all my scores of the anime that I read, because I don't do reviews here, so I don't feel right giving a score in these videos. But check that out if you want to keep up with what I'm reading. My Twitter's below. That's where I do all my social media-ing, if you want to contact me on there. And until next time, remember, if it's worth reading, then it's worth buying. Take care, everyone.